American Natividad and Tyendinaga territory at one of two blockades that have been set up along the rail line. This is now day eight of the blockades, and at this point, this is as close as media can get. In the past couple of days, demonstrators have been pushing us farther back and are not granting any interviews. All this as the federal minister for Indigenous Services is set to meet with the Mohawk chief on Saturday. As we pulled up to one of the blockades, we were told to keep our distance as meetings between the demonstrators on site were currently underway. Two vehicles parked to ensure we stayed back. And at the second site, OPP vehicles also kept watch from afar. It was clear no interviews would be given today. Over the weekend, an injunction obtained by CN was served to protesters by the OPP. But the Provincial Police Service has chosen not to take any action just yet. And we want to remain focused on preserving the peace and maintaining a safe environment for everyone. I have to say that I am deeply concerned about protests that deliberately prevent the operation of railways through illegal activity. It is about people's jobs and livelihoods and about the transport of key supplies like food, propane, heating oil, and chemicals for water treatment. The Port of Hamilton, which receives shipments including food, construction materials, and gasoline to the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area, says it's monitoring the situation, noting the most likely alternative to transporting goods would be by truck. The port said in a statement, if you consider that each rail car carries the equivalent of about three transport trucks, an extended disruption of rail traffic would have serious impacts, adding it would also create additional truck traffic and congestion in areas around the port. On the labour side, 50 CN employees have already been linked laid off in Brampton because of the blockades, while employees in Halifax and Montreal could face a similar fate. And at what point does the OPP go in and say that this has to stop now? We can't speculate on what time, when, you know, when or where the OPP would actually move to move into an enforcement role. In the meantime, activity at the Tyendinaga blockade is minimal today. Demonstrators, it appears, in a holding pattern until Saturday's meeting with the minister. At this point, details of the meeting are few, only that the minister has specified that it will take place at a location of their choice. In Tyendinaga, Mohawk Territory, Erica Natividad, City News.